It's 2024 and the railway rifle is still the commando's go-to. I know there are so many different commando weapons in this game that you can use, but nothing beats the damage that this weapon can put out. You can see from the clip that whenever I'm shooting the boss myself, the health is dropping a ton. You can just see little chunks of the health just go away every time I shoot a bullet. Now the teammates are helping out a ton. But whenever I use this rail rifle, it is going down a lot faster. So today I'm going to be showing you everything about the rail rifle, where to get it, how to use it, and just basically the build that I use to get it to perform as well as it does. And if you do find this video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I do appreciate it. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. So first things first is actually getting the blueprint. So all you have to do is go to any of the train stations. All you have to do is talk to the robots, go into the notes and go down to the railway rifle. Once you pick that up, I would also recommend picking up the automatic piston. This will make your rail rifles automatic. Now that you have the blueprints, all you have to do is go to a weapon station, craft the rail rifle. So you just need to go down to machine guns, craft the rail rifle. You do need to be a minimum level of 30 to craft it. Now, of course, if you're level 50, craft the level 50 version but you do need to be level 30 to use this weapon. And of course, once the weapon is crafted, all you have to do is modify it to put the automatic piston on it. And there you have it. Now you have your rare rifle. Now, if you want the exact mods that I have, I also have the long barrel on mine, the recoil compensating stock and the reflex sight. So the mods that you're going to be looking for on a rare rifle are going to be ones that increase your damage. Now, the reason I use quad is because you can have 40 bullets in a magazine. That means that you don't need to reload as much and you can put out more damage. You saw from the clip earlier, I didn't have to reload, so I was just able to keep shooting. Now, of course, if you want more damage, you can always go with anti-armor, bloodied, junkied, whatever version of the weapon that you want but i would recommend quad because the less reloading you do the more damage you're going to be putting out now for the second perk there is actually two perks that i would recommend i would recommend the 50 percent critical damage you're always going to be in vats so you're always going to be doing a critical damage but then i would also recommend the explosive effect because if you pair that with some of the other perks in the game you will be doing a lot of explosive damage. And the last perk that you're going to be looking for is 25 less VATS cost. Now, I don't have this on my rail rifle, but you did see it earlier that I was able to stay in the VATS for a very long time. Of course, if I had this perk, I would be able to stay in it a lot longer. So that would be the last perk that you're looking for. If you don't get it, it doesn't really matter. But if you do get it, you have the god roll and you will be able to do more damage. So the armor that I use in this build is unyielding. And the reason that I use unyielding is because you want the increase to your special. The more agility you have, the more AP you have. The more perception you have, the more you're going to be hitting your target. The more strength you have, the more bullets you can carry around. So there is a lot of benefits to using unyielding, but just remember that if you're using unyielding armor, you're running a low health build, which means that you will die very easy if you don't have the right perks on. But if you don't want to use unyielding, you can use other sets. So use vanguards if you want to, or bolstering if it helps you survive more. And when it comes to the other mods on your armor, it doesn't really matter. I usually go with plus one intelligence just to get myself more XP. But for the last mod, I usually go with something like weight reduction just to help out with the ammo that I'm carrying around or the weapons. So it doesn't really matter about the other mods, but just go with something that is going to be useful to you. So now we're going to be talking about our perks. So for strength, we have travel and pharmacy, barbarian, Sturdy Frame and Bandolier. A lot of these are weight reduction perks. So if you feel like you don't need the weight reduction, do change them up. But that is what I use on my build. For Perception, we're using Master Commando, Tank Killer, Commando, Expert Commando, and Concentrated Fire. Now for Concentrated Fire, you do not need the three points into it. I have the three points, but you do not need them. So if you just want to put one point into Concentrated Fire and then put two points into Ground Pounder to give you a faster reload, you can always do it that way. 
So for endurance, we're using Radicool and Revenant. Radicool is going to give you more strength, which means you can carry more weight. And then Revenant is going to give you a damage bonus if you are revived by another player. Now for Charisma, we're using Inspirational, Stranger Numbers and Tenderizer. Tenderizer is going to give you more damage. Stranger Numbers is going to give your mutations a stronger effect. And then Inspirational is just there for the XP. So if you don't want to get more XP, you don't need to use Inspirational, but I would recommend the other two. So for Intelligence, we're using Nerd Rage, Batteries Included, and Gunsmith. The reason I use Gunsmith is because Railroad Rifles break very fast. So if you have the level 5 Gunsmith, you will have 50% slower break on your Railroad Rifles. I have Batteries Included. For my energy weapon ammo weighs 90% less. Once again, if you don't carry around the energy ammo at all, you do not need this on your build. But Nor Rage is very good if you're running the Unyielding or the Bloodied build, just because you will gain more damage reduction, but you will also deal out more damage and you will have faster AP regen. So Nor Rage is very good for this build. So for agility, we're using Covered Operative, Sneak, Escape Artist, Gunfu, and Adrenaline. Now Adrenaline is very good because if you are fighting a boss and you kill the minions that the boss spawns in, you will be doing more damage to the boss. So it's very nice to have. Gunfu is also very good because whenever you're shooting the multiple targets, once you kill a target, it will move on to the next target when you're in VATS and you will do more damage to that target. Escape Artist is just to help out with your sneak so you can get the bonus when you're sneaking. Sneak is just very nice to have so you're harder to detect. And then Covert Operative, your range attacks do an additional 50% sneak attack damage. It's very good because we are using a range of weapons, so I would recommend it. And lastly, we have Luxor. You're going to be using the Bloody Mess, Better Crickles, Serendipity, Class Freak, Parator, and Starch Jeans. Now, once again, you don't need to use Serendipity if you're running a full health build. This only benefits low health builds like the build that I'm using right now. So if you're using Unyielding or Bolstering or any type of low health build, you will need this perk. But if you're running a full health build, you will not need it whatsoever. And the same goes to Curator. If you're not using Bobbleheads or Magazines, you do not need this perk. So you can just put a point somewhere else. And when it comes to the legendary perks, it doesn't really matter what you put onto your build. Except for I would recommend putting on Follow True and take a one for the team. Just because it does help out a ton with your damage. But when it comes to your other perks, I would recommend special perks just because it does make it that you can put more perk cards on your build. And then once again, I use Master Infiltrator just to open doors and all. It's not needed whatsoever for this build. So now it's time for our mutation. So I use Adrenal Reaction just because it lowers my health, but it gives my weapons more damage. I use Board Bones because it gives me more agility, which means that I'm going to have more AP and my fall speed is reduced. Then I use Eagle Eyes because it gives me more perception, which means that I will be hitting the target more, but also gives us more critical damage, which is very useful for this build. I use Egghead just for more intelligence, but Egghead is not really needed for this build. I use Grounded because Grounded helps out with my energy resistance because I do have a low health on this build. I use Horrorvore because I gain more benefits from eating veggies. There is certain food items that I will get into to help out with our damage. I use Hard Mentality just because it gives us plus two to our special when we're in a team. You don't need to be in a team with anybody. You can be in a team by yourself and still gain this benefit. But the plus two to your special is going to help out with perception, agility or strength. So it's just very nice to have. Marsupial is going to help us jump higher, but is also going to give us more carry weight so we can carry around the bullets for the railway rifle. And then I use Speed Demon because it gives us a faster reload. Very nice to have and it's just very useful. So guys, since you made it this far into the video, you might as well subscribe and also give this video a like. But now we're going to move on to our buffs. So the first buff is Small Guns. This is a bobblehead. And it gives us 20% more damage to our ballistic weapons. Since the rail rifle is a ballistic weapon, it will benefit from this bobblehead. So the second buff that we're going to use is Guns and Bullets 3. This is the magazine. 
that gives us 100% more critical damage with our ballistic weapons. The third buff that we're going to be using is Blight Soup. Blight Soup is very easy to make. All you need is Blight and a Boiled Water, and it gives us 50% crit damage. This is why I use Herbivore, just to get more damage from the Blight Soup. So the fourth buff that we use is Ballistic Bok. It gives us more damage, but also increases the condition cost of the weapon. That's why we use Gunsmith, because Ballistic Bok does make our weapons break faster, but also gives us extra damage. And the last buff that we use is Psycho Buff. It gives us more damage, more strength, more endurance, and more health. Now, if you are running a low health build, you will not want that extra bit of health. But if you are running a full health build, the extra health will come in handy. But guys, that is it for the video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And also check out the description for my socials. Follow me over there and I will talk to you all later. Thank you and goodbye.